can turn the world on with her smile Who can take a nothing day And suddenly make it all seem worthwhile Well, it's you, girl, and you should know it With each glance and every little movement you show it Moving on, we're going to the planet Zebus. This, and we're returning from. Uh, this was actually where Samus's first mission was located. It's raining outside. This is where her summer home is at. No, she has only been here once before in her whole entire lifetime. No, no, wait a minute. No, maybe she was here before. I'd have to reread the story. Zima, she was here once. Yeah, I know from the first game, I'm talking about backstory. Space pirate. She can't open the red door yet. Move, no, along. I need move along, move along. Nothing to see behind this red door here. I need missiles to get in there. Alright. See, this is where the original NES game ended. It's all um, jacked up. Well, not jacked up, but destroyed. <laughs> it's jacked up. She yes. messed up because she drank too much coffee. Yeah. Well, this is where the mother brain used to be, from the original Nintendo. The, ex the giant exploding brain. Yeah, the brain is destroyed. Or so we think. And now we're going back to another road down memory lane. This is where the first game actually began. It's quiet. Too quiet. Do a barrel roll! Morphing Ball! Or Maru Mari. I prefer to call it from the original. Oh, we've been spotted! Oh no. You got shined on. Yes. Or as Brittany would say, shiny! Shiny! I need some missiles! Wouldn't it be funny if you got to where the missiles are supposed to be and they weren't there? Uh, no, because they're there. And besides, there's lots of missiles. I need at least all oh, maybe 70 to 100 to really beat the game, so... From this much. point on, missiles should be known as scones. Scones? Scones. Scones? Sco scones are good. What about Ted So, Baxter's? open the scone door. Okay, so... Well. Now you got me to do it! <laughs> <laughs> More missiles! More scones! <laughs> Or biscuits. I guess you could call them biscuits, too. What about magic missiles? I you attack no. the darkness? No, no. She has an infrared visor. There is no darkness. Infrared didn't appear until, like, um, Metroid Prime. And I'm not playing Metroid Prime. That doesn't mean she didn't have it here and we just couldn't... She lo it. loses everything between missions! She must sell them to some kind of uh, space embassy or something. She had, I know for a fact she had x-ray vision in this. She does, but we don't have it yet. We gotta collect well, it. Well, then go get it. I can't yet. It's in a spot I can't What's get What's taking so long? Because we're being attacked by these ugly green creatures. They want her coffee. Yeah. Give them biscuits. Give them biscuits! I'm saving my... Biscuit! <laughs> are, are they the biscuits from Red Lobster? I wouldn't know. I don't like biscuits. So. I, I like biscuits. Biscuits hurt when you get shot in the face with them, apparently. Apparently. So, let's jump up, jump up, jump up. Kill these aliens. Whee! Well, you know what? She can turn the world on with her smile. Well, actually, no. <laughs> she can't. No one can see her face, Patrick. <laughs> we did at the beginning, and we will at the ending. She's very pretty. For all you know, until she takes that armor off, that could be Arnold Schwarzenegger. No, it's Samus Aran, and she is very, very beautiful. 
and strong and powerful. And she has color. No. I thought we were going to call her Carla. Her what name? What happened to Carla? She's oh. not Carla. Carla. Who's Carla? Coffee blaster. Who's she? She fights. <laughs> she fights lack of coffee. She goes around the universe in her coffee ship and fights lack of coffee for people who have none. <laughs> Um, moving on, time for the first, um, well, actual boss, or mini-boss. You know, that graphic almost reminds me of, um, Simon Belmont from the NES Castlevania. Why? It just looks like it, just reminds me of it. You gotta use your biscuits on the door. All this talk about biscuits is making me hungry. You know... I think that thing's pretty hungry too. If he wants your biscuits, you better give them to him. That's right. Shoot him right in, shoot him in the mouth with your biscuits. That'll satisfy him. Look at him. He's, he's salivating all over the place. Should we um, make him listen to uh, to Buscus's, um biscuit song? He had a biscuit song, doesn't he? I believe so. Oh my god, look at all the jelly. Yeah, but I didn't get any biscuits back. Well, I mean missiles! <laughs> There's some missiles! Alright, got missiles back. I'm up. Back stocked up to eight. Got my ba bombs. Well, not ba bombs, but bombs. Alrighty. Up, 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 up. Jelly bomb. No, they're just bombs. It actually looks like mustard and jelly. Um, okay. Have you ever had a mustard and jelly sandwich, Patrick? What? We should go make a mustard and jelly sandwich and eat it. Um, because it would be good. I think. Or I could be completely wrong. I don't know. Yeah, sure. Whatever. Whatever floats your boat. Even Energy though it's tank! That's your caffeine shot for your coffee right there. That's the espresso <laughs> tank. That's the, it, 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 E doesn't stand for energy anymore. It stands for espresso. Espresso. So now you're Vinnie Barbarino from Welcome Back, Cotter. That's right. Up your nose with a rubber hose. Blue, the blue or the red? The blue. We won't go into the red until later. Because that leads us to the last area. The blue is what takes you out of the Matrix, though. You want to stay in the Matrix, though. We're not in the Matrix. We're in Zebus. How do you know? Because that... <sighs> there is no spoon. There is no spoon? There is. There is no spoon because there's no we're in the spoon. Jungle. Then what are you gonna stir your coffee with? 